In the morning, headquarters informed us that ground troops were launching an offensive in the salient in the Orlovka region. Of course, infantry and strike aircraft required fighter cover, which was the primary mission of the group today. My greatest fear is that they would also send us on ground attack missions, but fortunately, it all worked out. It made no sense whatsoever to subjugate the fragile Messerschmitts to anti-aircraft and machine gun fire, and in this situation, it wasn't necessary. I took part in a few flights last year of this nature near Moscow, and the impression I was left with was far from rosy. But here, near Stalingrad, we had more than enough planes designed for the task at hand. Our staff was assigned to cover JU-87s by clearing the airspace above the target. We would be patrolling at high altitudes. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to the BF-109 G2 as we continue the Fortress on the Volga campaign. Today we are doing a quick little patrol over that salient there. We are clearing the way for friendly Stukas, which are going to do some ground pounding. Uh, they are far behind us, I haven't seen them just yet. We're clearing the airspace in advance. But as you can see, the objective is just a stone's throw away from Potomac Airfield. I am the leader of the second flight we just took off. We're climbing to around three kilometers up, and there's a flight up in front of us, you can see, that is going in first. So, and I need to shut off my lights, don't I? That should be a fairly routine patrol. I'm waiting for the rest of my flight to get all formed up before I start kicking up the throttle. Oh, hello there. Avoid uh, a collision. <laughs> that would be... Less than ideal, that's for sure. All right, well, we're going to climb up to our designated altitude and keep our eyes peeled. Another extremely clear day, no clouds or anything like that, so uh, we should be able to spot enemies at quite a distance. Oh, there's a couple of aircraft there. What are those? Those look like 109s as well. I wonder what they're up to. Interesting. Anyway, I'll keep you all updated as the situation develops. It looks like the leading flight is in the combat area. They have broken to the left. I'm not seeing any enemy aircraft out in that direction just yet. Not sure, we are taking sporadic anti-aircraft fire. I got those two aircraft down there. Those friendly 109s. It looks like one's going vertical. Okay, and we're clear to start patrolling. Interesting. Well, we'll just keep our eyes peeled for the time being. Curious what is going on way over there. Yeah, it looks like maybe there's three aircraft there. The two 109s are ganging up on one. Okay, well, here we are. We'll see what happens. Okay, we may have something here. Three o'clock low on the deck. What is that? Yeah, okay. There's definitely enemies down here. All right, let's roll it over. See what's going on. I see a pair of two. Are these friendlies? Indeed, those are two 109s. All right, let's dive towards the tracer fire. Throttle back. That is ground fighting, okay. That's a yak, nine o'clock. Also a big fireball way out there in the di distance. All right, here we go. Yep, this is a Russian aircraft. Tell by the wing structure, generally. It just got clipped by a friendly. See deflection shot here. Is the LA-5, not a yak. But I got a good uh, 20 millimeter cannon hit in the wing. I startled back, don't wanna cook our engine. 
Thankfully, we're fighting pretty close to friendly lines, so if something horrible happens, we're, uh, we're able to run on home A-OK. -okay. Yeah, that wasn't great. Keep our eyes on the target and finish this guy off. I mean, he is damaged, but nothing critical. That's another Russian aircraft passing right in front of us. Don't mind if I do. Gotta love that 109 roll rate. Alright, here we go. Come here. LA-5 is not a great turner, so... May be able to pull the lead we need. Indeed. And that looks rough. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't imagine he's very airworthy after that. That looked pretty devastating, but you can never be too sure. Yeah, he's not doing much in terms of evasive maneuvers. There we go, another 20 millimeter cannon hit in the wing. There we go. That's got to do it. Okay, LA-5 destroyed. We got aircraft 6 o'clock. Let's uh, loop around and climb back up. Still no visual on the Stukas yet. I think they're still quite a ways out. I mean, this is our job to clear the combat airspace. We're not escorting. Uh, can I... Help you, sir. The Yak. So there are Yaks here, not just LA-5s. Ooh, that Yak got tickled a little bit by some machine gun. Popped a fuel tank. Check our 6. There's something back there. I think it looked like a 109. Indeed it is. Alright, there's our... There's our friend. Oh, it's an LA-5. Oh my gosh. All right, so LA-5s are now Yaks, and Yaks are now LA-5s. That's my new uh, naming system. That 109 got some good hits on him. This guy, I mean, he's looking rough. We still have plenty of ammunition as well. We have not used a whole lot. And our friend's off. My turn. Although he is taking fire from up front. I do not want to be hit by a friendly. And there we go. That's a fire. And that's a big fire right out the gate. Devastating. He's going down for sure. Oh, the fire was extinguished in the dive. And there's a shoot. Let's say, I'm kind of surprised. And... Splash. Alright, what else do we have going on? Check our engine. Let's uh, bring it back to 1.1 ATA. 109 up ahead. Don't wanna... These, these engines are a bit temperamental, so... Got flak, 9 o'clock. Lots of it. I mean, those are... Definitely Soviet lines. Got an aircraft back here. Looks friendly. 109. Looks like, uh, 
Airspace is cleared. What did she say? 109 up ahead. Yeah, everything's looking nice and clear. All right. That was easy. Let's see if anything else comes our way. I'm try to form up with the rest of my flight and see where everyone is. I'm taking a lot of anti-air. I guess we're actually good to proceed back home. Yeah, I may do that before I eat one of these rounds. Got an aircraft over the Volga. All right, we'll start making our way back home to Potomac. I do want to keep patrolling, see if there's anything else out here, but um, we'll see. I mean, I have plenty of ammunition to, to spend. 109. All right, let's move back to our side of the lines. All right, enemy aircraft just broke underneath us. Oh, geez, hello. Actually tried shooting at me, you cheeky. Cheeky guy, where are you? All right, let's climb back up. Full throttle. That came in fast. Now, I, I I, don't want to speak too soon, but I do believe those were actually yaks. Where'd they go, though? That's the, that's the real question. Okay, I got one aircraft high, 6 o'clock. I was formed up with three of my friends at that point, so I think the enemy is outnumbered. Look at all this anti-air in the sky. Okay. The 109. That's an enemy. Definitely a yak. Not going to be able to pull anything here. I definitely have a altitude advantage right now. Let's see what we can do here. Looks like he's killing it off. This anti-aircraft is making me a little nervous. <laughs> We're being honest with ourselves. All right. And I dive. Have him in our sights. It looks like he's on the six of one of our 109s. Let's see if we can clear it. There we go. And I started a fire. That was clean. I've been starting a lot of fires today. It's interesting. There's a shoot over the Volga. What's this? Can't make it out entirely right now. Let's uh let's investigate, shall we? It looks like a Possible Russian aircraft trying to pull in on a 109. How's the engine looking? Looks okay. Currently going around 350 kph. Let's see what we can do here. Check our six. Alright, let's throttle up. go. Been good. Looks like, is this guy leaking something? No, just exhaust. Tickled him, fuel leak. Another 109 just dove in. Come on now.
lost him. He's way up there. Throttle back. Try to re-engage here. Is he falling out of the sky? Yeah, it looks like he's in a flat spin. No, oh, wait a second. I think that's a 109. That is a 109. Now, where's our friend that we hit? I'm not liking this. Is that 109 going to get out of the spin? I don't think he is. He's down. I completely lost sight of that yak. And I do not see any other friends. I think it may be time to go. They're getting a little scary now. How's ammo? Ammo's fine. Ah, German aircraft. Um, got a couple of aircraft high. These, these look like 109s. Yeah, these are 109s leaving the airspace. Set on my six, so. Are you a 109 or are you an uh, enemy aircraft? I think it's a 109 trying to form up on me. Okay, well that's that. I think, I think we're clear to go home. I do not see that yet. Normally they're pretty easy to pick out whenever they have a fuel leak or anything, but he completely gave me the slip there. There he is. No, we're not letting him get away now. Is he turning in? Oh my gosh. No, he's flying away. He wants to run. Can't say I blame him. Just ice three of his friends. Got another aircraft high. Oh my gosh, there's a third to the right. Uh, this is kind of a, a hornet's nest. See, that was totally intentional. <laughs> We're back on him. Make sure his friends don't uh, see what's going on here. Kind of on edge now. Avoid blacking out. I think that yak may be going in. That or he's just hitting the deck and trying to run away. Want, definitely want to avoid blacking out. He says as he blacks out. We're fine though. Yeah. Okay. And I lost him. I don't see him. We're all alone. The smart thing is to uh, RTB at this point. He could have gone down. Yeah, let's go home. <laughs> My pilot is extremely exhausted at this point as well. Alright, let's get out of here. We were just hit. Oh gosh. Got two on our six. Is that what's going on here? Hit him. Oh 
come on. I think I have control surface issues. I do not see number two, but we are going to destroy this guy after shooting us. That was quite rude, wasn't it? And he ripped up a wing. Definitely, uh... Okay, he's down. Splash. Adios. Alright, there's number two. Oh my gosh, there's all sorts of stuff here. This is, uh, this is not good. This is... <laughs> This is not the place to be as a as a German pilot right now. This is I only see Russians. I only see yaks in my dreams. I I, I legitimately do not see a single 109. Oh, there's one. There is a 109 here. I'm not alone. All right, we're on this guy. Let's watch our throttle usage. Uh, yak just flew right in front of me. I want to check my six. Oh man, come on, aim. We're out of cannon. That's no bueno. Alright, we need to just hit the deck and run. We need to get out of here. I have no cannon. We're significantly outnumbered. Something just flew past my six. Alright, let's get out of here. For real this time. Well, we have a, a slight problem here. There are two yaks on my six o'clock. Let me, uh... Yep, yeah, there they are. Uh, so we're we're heading straight for Potomac. Let's see if we can uh, drag them over some of our flat guns. So far, they seem to be a steady distance away. There's a friendly airfield. Is this one occupied, though? Yeah, I'm not sure if there's any... I don't know. There's friendly assets there. We'll try. They're shooting at me now. All right, throttle up. Oh, my gosh. All right, please have anti-air guns. Something. This place looks a little run down though. I'm not too confident in it. All right, we gotta keep running for Potomac. Oh, they may be breaking off. We got some trucks there. Hmm. Oh no, they have not broken off. That is not what has happened. Potomac's right up ahead. I got landing lights. Just have to make it there. Oh my gosh, they are getting close. <laughs> they are, they are very close. All right, there's home. Let's see what they do. Looks like they're kind of turning around. They're like, no, we don't want any of that. All right. In that case, let's throttle back. Hello, Ivan. Yeah, it looks like one's turning around. They, they both may be turning around here. All right, very, very smart. Yep, anti-air is engaging. Come on, get them. All right, well, we are clear to come in for a landing, so I will get set up for that. All right, here we go. Coming in for our landing now. They are still engaging those enemy aircraft way out there. Well, they just were. You can still kind of see them. Way out there. I don't think they got any heads. They didn't down any, but it's still cool to see. All right, we are to land on the northern runway as per usual. Get nice and lined up here.
And hopefully, we don't botch this up. Get ourselves killed on landing. The last time I flew was... The, <laughs> the last one of these missions I've recorded. I haven't had time to do a whole lot of flying, unfortunately, so... My landings and my gunnery have definitely suffered. But still, I think we ended up getting five kills. All right, nice and easy. There we go, we're down. Oh geez, oh brother. Don't, don't slam on the brakes. <laughs> that, was, that was not a good move. All right, flaps up. We'll taxi off, and I'll see you all for the debrief. Alrighty, folks. Well, here we are. Mission accomplished. We were in the air for 29 minutes, and we did, in fact, destroy five enemy aircraft. Go to the events log and see everything that happened. Wow. Okay, so an enemy aircraft did go down over here. It was destroyed by flak. That's awesome. Um, and there was just friendly, oh no, enemies destroyed. So while we were tangling with all these enemy fighters, uh, I guess the Stukas did some work. Yeah, Stukas got them. Awesome. Uh, we destroyed a couple of LA-5s, a Yak, another LA-5 was destroyed down there, and one 109 was destroyed. That was that one we saw in the flat spin. And we got someone way over here. So... This guy had to have been damaged um, and ended up crash landing way back here. That's what happened, I bet. Well, folks, that is going to do it for today's episode. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you all on the next one.